Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and my garage. I got a pretty sweet video coming at you today. First thing I'm gonna talk about and show you is the race between my buddy Evan and Waylon. They finally lined their trucks up. Then after that, I'm gonna show you a little bit about my homemade flow bench that I made here. Almost got it completed and I'm gonna go over everything and show you how it works and that's gonna be pretty cool. But first things first, let's talk about this race because it is pretty killer. Uh, Evan and Waylon, I both took videos of their truck. They've been posted on my page for a little while now. Uh, but we finally lined them up. Evan has a 94 model C1500 extended cab, 5.3 swap with a 4L80. Uh, he's got a 243 heads, flat top pistons, it's a Gen 4 5.3. Uh, BTR stage 3 truck cam. Uh, some headers and uh, Magnaflow three inch side pipes sounds pretty good and we just put a uh, 410 gears in it and a true track uh, differential uh, still has a stock converter uh, could use a few little things to make it run a little better but it's running pretty good let's see uh, Wayland's truck has a 5.3 in it that he built it's bored 30 over so it's 330 cubic inches uh, the deck was milled on the block. The heads were milled also. It's got 706 heads on it, and it's got a comp 220-224 cam. I think it's a 525 lift. Pretty decent little cam. Uh, he's got he's running a 4L60 and a single uh, Magnaflow exhaust, but he's got a set of Speed Engineering one and three quarter inch headers on it, as you can see the video on that. Uh, we've been tuning on both trucks and. Uh, they both run pretty good. So uh, let me know what you think about this race. I think you guys are going to love it. Thanks. All right, now we're gonna talk about my homemade flow bench here. First things first, to measure airflow, you gotta have airflow. So I got a shop back right here. This one really will probably do the job on its own, but I got it hooked in unison with this bigger shop back right now, just for testing purposes. But I'm gonna show you how, how show you guys how this thing works. Pretty cool, pretty simple at the same time. And also very cheap, very cheap to do yourself if you're interested in doing something like this. I mean, you could use this for any type of head, lawnmowers, four-wheelers, motorcycles, cars, boats, whatever you want. First thing I did was simulate the bore. The bore that most LS uh, engines are running is pretty close to a four inch bore, unless you have like a 5.3 or 4.8. But uh, if you have a six liter or something like that, four inch bore, well, this is a four inch pipe. So I got it hooked up and eventually adapted down to this to the shop back hose so we pull suction through here all right this is a little piece of plexiglass right here and i have the tube the pipe epoxy to it and this is also about four inches that i have here simulated for a, a actual cylinder bore i tried to simulate the actual size of a cylinder bore here uh so I, and I also bolt it down like that so you pull suction through here, you cut on the shop back. And at that point you're like, okay, so how do you know what it's doing? Well, you take a spark plug and you knock the center out of it and a 
to uh, attach some brass fittings to it and got it hooked up to a piece of copper pipe. This piece of copper pipe runs to a tube. It runs all the way up here. And I got a measuring tape here in this tube. You fill it up about halfway with water. And as you cut on the, or send suction through the system, it'll start pulling the water up the tube, okay? So the way it works is, as you're pulling suction through here, your valve you use to, you control the valve with a micrometer or a uh, dial indicator. And I use this little deal here to open and close the valve and I measure the valve at, at 50 lift, at 100, at 200, at 300, 400, 500, 600 lift, all the way up. See, I got it mounted just like this on top of the head so I can open and close the valve just like that. See, nothing to it. So when I have the valve closed and you start off, no air can get through the bore. It should be sealed. At that point, air can only come through this tube. Okay, so this tube, it has a lot of vacuum put on it and that's how it pulls the water up here. So when I have it closed, the valve closed, this is where the water comes to. And I make sure every time before I start, the water is at the same place. On here, I should have it right here at the top of this line right here. And when I cut the vac uh, shop back on and the valve is closed, the water should come up to right here. And when it does, I know that the system is sealed. I don't have any leaks and I'm ready to go. When I have both shop backs hooked up, I get a little more suction. So then the water comes all the way up to here. Okay, so I know that system's sealed and ready to go. So then I open, say I open one up to at 50 lift, it starts letting some air through. So I've made a few marks here on a, another head I was testing, at 50 on the exhaust. This is where how much water it pulled up. So you take the measurement right here, it would have pulled it up to about 73 and three quarter inches. And then you can convert those numbers into CFM. Now I haven't, I have two more parts I have to buy to convert this thing to CFM, to be able to convert my numbers into CFM and record actual gains. And the way to do that is, is I have to put an air valve in here or some type of water valve to where I can open and close it. And I also have to put a meter in here to meter the amount of vacuum inside this tube. At that point, I can keep, as I open the valve and close the valve here, make it go up and down, I can adjust my air valve that I have in the cylinder to keep a steady amount of pressure inside the cylinder. At that point, I can record numbers at the same pressure at different lifts. At that point, I can convert those numbers into an actual CFM number. And that's how you get your CFM numbers. So what you, you can basically develop a head to do whatever you want and to flow however you want it to flow by using this system. <clears throat> You can also, once you have this valve here, you can measure it at different air speeds to try to replicate different RPM and to see how the, the head will flow at different RPM at the same time. So it's pretty cool. You can do, spend days experimenting with this thing, but you know, you can start, do a little cleanup job or port the ball out or take a, take the rocker stud, uh, bump out of the runner or the you know narrow down the valve guide and or, you know do all kind of stuff record your flow gains each time to make sure you get you know make sure you have figured out what you're doing make sure you're not going in the wrong direction and ruining a head but i think it's pretty cool uh i'm thinking i'm gonna go pretty far with this set of heads this is a set of ls1 heads right here and uh, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna see just what I can get out of them. But first I'm gonna set it up to where I get actual CFM numbers to record my gains. Now, you don't have to have the air valve in there and the uh, vacuum gauge or the meter to read the vacuum in the tube to still know if you're getting gains or not. Because I mean, say you do some, do some work on the, on the runner and then you test it at 50 the first time on the stock intake runner 
and then say you retest it again after you poured it and then it drops down here. Well, if once that once it drops, we know more air is getting through there because less suction is getting put on the tube. So therefore you have an increase in airflow at that pressure. So, but once I get to where I can test all lifts the same pressure, then I can get very accurate numbers. So that's my next step on this thing. So if anybody watches this video and they know anything about these, let me know if I'm doing it right or wrong, but I think I'm on the right track here. Um, it's been really fun to play with. I've done all types of work. Took all kind of recordings and measurements and stuff like that to get started on this. So uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, run between Evan and Waylon. And uh, let me know what you think. And uh, stay tuned in because I'm going to be uploading more videos. Uh, I got my green truck and my BMW that I need to upload videos on. And also the yellow Mustang, Evan's brother's Mustang. We got a hot motor in it now. So uh, we're going to be getting ready to make some videos with it also. Thanks.